Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroot from Decubed, ddd.ca. Today's lesson is introduction to shapes. Alright, so if I go into draw and shapes, we can get started there. Um, here we are with line, box, triangle, point, circle, arc arrow, polyline, and spline. These lines will not be seen in 3D. These lines will not be seen in material list or, ele or, um, or be calculated for elevation or calculated for cross-section. These are actually used inside of elevation and cross-section. And of course the drawing itself. So if I were to draw a line, zoom in here, that line will actually be um, only for pretty well black and white purposes when you go to print. If I go to edit this line, it will give me the uh, components of that line, and that is it. The difference between, I'll explain these in intermediate mode, the difference between a uh, line and square and all that, we'll uh, touch right now. There's our, our triangle, three points, to shape and box, obviously box and any corner you can choose. Mostly everything needs at least two points to, to start on things. Um, circles are, um, there's different types of circles you can do. Of course you can do the, the center or even the diameter. If I choose the diameter I could actually branch out if I choose the center, it would actually come up from the center. There's that black outline of the item. Uh, again, I call that the phantom. So once I choose my second, sp my second spot, it will actually snap. And again, these will not be used. If I do a 3D of this right now, nothing will show right now. Um, this is great for elevations and cross sections, the fittest product, but to get to that point, you need to have walls. If I go down this list here and just keep on going, there's uh, the arrows as well and arcs. Uh, I'll just touch these ones here. If I click on um, this one here or hover over, it says S E R. S meaning start, E meaning end, R meaning radius. And there's start, center, and length. So let's do this one here. We're going to be starting, and I'll point out on my screen, it says SER. So it's waiting for us to do something. Here's our start, there's our end, and there's our radius. So we could uh, put in several different types of radius. If we're not really sure, I could click a spot. And of course, using our great hand thingy, edit, we'll just click on the arcway itself. And when that is, comes up, that on the screen. I could change the uh, start angle, the sweep, even the width of the arc itself. I could also change um, the texture of it. I can switch it to a dashed line or something like that. I could do the exact same thing for boxes. I'm going to edit the box itself and when that comes up there's our length, there's our width, and um, I know I've mentioned this a few times before, but a lot of people have seemed to have this natural tendency to click the area and go backspace, backspace, backspace. But you do not need to do that at all. What you need to do is you need to click on the spot, as any other Windows product. Whenever it's highlighted blue like that, it's actually waiting for you to do something. So I'm just going to type in 5 feet and enter. And I'm also do the same thing here, five feet, and enter. So uh, going down my list here, I have a line style, but I also have a texture. The texture could be filled in different ways. I can do a texture live, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But first of all, I could show show you um, a texture of bat. Show the border means the actual border itself. So I click on OK, and it will actually show me bat insulation. I could use uh, the adjust, which is the letter A on the
on the keyboard and I could squish it down if I chose to. Now if I want to draw it live uh, with a texture I can click on the box itself. That is the pen number, number two. Uh, there's the color, there's the texture of the line which is dashed or dash dot. And here is the pattern. I'm going to click on the pattern itself and I see rigid insulation as an example. Uh, the fill increment is how many, uh, how much does the, the pattern repeat? I'll just say every two inches so you can see what it looks like. Now I'm going to draw my box longwise and then I'm going to draw it tall. So what's going to happen is that the actual texture should try its best to uh, go with the direction that you are going in. Now it also depends on what width you choose because I choose um, the when I go inside of cross uh, cross sections, I like throwing in a little bit of extra um, insulation because it does matter. I want to actually show more insulation. If you're not really sure about the uh, the fill increment, you can always edit it later on using the hand thingy and click on there and I'll just type in 4 enter and then hit OK and it will actually adjust the drawing itself. Let me zoom in there so you can take a look and see the real difference. Excellent for um, again doing details or anything that you would definitely want to show. Alright, if you have any requests on how to do anything inside of Softland, please email me at softlandtv at ddd.ca. Thank you so much for watching Softland TV.